All right, everyone. Thank you for joining me here today. This is our brand new software system called Camp Rain. It's going to make the parents' lives a lot easier. It's going to make our medical volunteers' lives a lot easier. So up at the top left there, you can see that it's happiness is camping campbrainregistration.com. And if you can't remember that, the URL is all over our website as well. So this is the landing page that you'll be brought to. Since this is the first year that we're using Camp Brain, everybody will need to do a new user sign up. So I'm going to walk you through a registration with the Bear family here. So you can see I put in my first name, my last name, my email, made a password and created an account for the first time. So this is going to take you to a second landing page, which gives a brief overview of the programs that we're offering. And for summer 2022, we're gonna hit start application. Again, this is going to give you another overview, a more broad description of each of the programs that we're offering, as well as some instructions here as well. So we'll hit continue. So the cool thing that we can do with Camp Rain that we couldn't do with our old system is now parents can make their own profiles as well. So you would do that if you're attending family camp, you can now register yourself. Um, if you were registering a second parent, you can hit here and create that second parent. But what most of you are going to do is you're just going to be registering your children. So you can add child here. So we'll call this one brother bear and Brother Bear will be our child with cancer. They'll be eight years old and a boy. Um, the really cool thing about Camp Rain is now you can register multiple kids at once. Where Camp Doc, you had to do everything separately for each kid. You can now do it at once. So make it. So that sister is a sibling and she is 16 years old. So she's eligible for our camp program. So you see here with these clicks, we're registering the brother, which is the child with cancer, the sister, which is the sibling. And if we wanted to add another child, we can do that there. And we're gonna hit continue. So then here it gives you a brief instructions on how to register for each session. Camp Rain is a little different where you're going to check if the child is if the child has cancer, you'll hit child with cancer. If it's a sibling, you'll hit sibling. The other great thing about Camp Rain is it's only going to show you the programs that the child is eligible for. So remember, since the sister is 16 years old, she's not eligible for summer camp, but she is eligible for family camp and this counselor and mentorship program, which is why we're seeing it here. So we're going to register for each session of the camp program. So we've hit add to cart. I remember we said she's a sibling, so we're going to hit sibling. And we're just going to keep doing that for each set, making sure that we're hitting sibling each time. And then you can see up here, we have sister bear and she's registered for all four sessions of camp as a sibling. And because on the last page, we said that we were also going to register Brother Bear, that's up here on a tab. And if you forget, it won't let you continue until everybody that you selected has some sessions registered. So you go to Brother, remember the Brother is eight years old, which means that he's eligible for family camp and summer camp, which is why those are the only two programs that we're seeing here. So we're going to register Brother for sessions two through five. And remember we said that brother bear is a child with cancer. So we're going to hit child with cancer. And session five. And then we can see all registrations here. Brother bear session two through five child with cancer. Sister bear is camp program sessions two through five as a sibling. Everybody has sessions, so we can now hit continue. We're now asking you to do slightly more work on the front end. Everything that you have to do for Camp Rain is something that you had to do for Camp Doc. So these household forms, you see here, it has a red asterisk. That means that it's mandatory. 
So the household form is good for everybody in the household. So you'll share your parent guardian information here. That's all the information for the first parent. If you wanted to include information for the second parent, we would do so here. And then we can do address for here at camp. So we have our address here. And then for the emergency contacts, you just have to put in at least one emergency contact contact and then it says here for relationship please list the emergency contacts relationship to the camper so we'll say that this is the emergency contact is grandpa bear the relationship is it's the camper grandpa and the cell phone here as well so that's nice and easy the household form no problem that's completed and then we get into the individual forms for each camper so this waiver and agreement, this is the risk and consent form that you've ha always had to sign to send your kids here. So you just type your name, your date, and complete this form. Then that form is done. So we'll go down here and we'll do it for the brother as well. And complete this form. So those are the waiver forms, nice and simple. This is the COVID-19 vaccination form. So it says, is this person vaccinated against COVID-19? If you say yes, it asks you to input all the information for their dose dates. If you say no, it asks, will this person be vaccinated against COVID prior to attending? Remember that we strongly recommend that everyone that attends camp is vaccinated against COVID-19. So we'll say yes, that the first date was this year and the second dose. Okay. So then we can go through here and do that again for the brother bear, the child with cancer. And then those forms are done. So you see here, this health history form is the only form that you don't have to complete prior to submitting your application. That uh, if you remember, you always have to submit a, uh, a physical form that the doctor fills out. And then we also have a health form that the parent fills out. This is the parent health form. And you can go back and do that at a later date. All of our health forms are due by June 1st. You'll see that in other places as well. So the only form that the brother has that the sister didn't have is this cancer diagnosis information form. Remember, we said that the brother was the child with cancer. So it asks you for the diagnosis, the date of the diagnosis, Is the child on active treatment? If you say yes, nothing happens. If you say no, it asks for the date of the last treatment. Did the child receive chemotherapy? Again, this is all information that you had to do on CampDoc anyway. Now it's just all front loaded and in a nice form. Did the child receive radiation therapy? Yes, what's the body location? Did the child receive a transplant? Yes, it asks for details. Does the child have a metaport? Proviac or VP shunt. You say yes, it asks for the type and body location. And then just the name of the hospital. Phone number. And if the child receipt requires one on one care, it asks you to explain why. And if not, you say no. And the form is done nice and easy again. So you see here we have everything that has an asterisk says completed the health history forms we can come back to at a later date so we'll hit continue this is just a recap of everything that you're registering for so sister and her registrations brother and his registrations then a recap of the forms again the only ones that aren't started are the health history form and then we can hit submit application 
So when you hit submit application, it'll bring you to this confirmation page with some more information. You will also immediately receive an email that has our parent manual for 2022, as well as a packing list. So just remember that when you're asking me a week before camp, you have the packing list, it gets sent to you automatically. And then we can hit view details. So it's going to take a little bit to say process. You see Brother Bear already has some sessions that are registered. So we can go in here and then this will be the landing page. So anytime that you come back to your profile through Camp Rain, this is the page that you will see. It says this is the parent account page. It has that reminder that all health forms are due by June 1st. You can again click on a packing list and then the packing list is there for you. And then it has some more information about our Facebook pages. So while we're waiting for our applications to be processed, let's go through the health history form. So this is all the same information that we asked through Camp Doc as well. So nice and easy, you just go through, give us as much information about your camper as you possibly can. If, for allergies and dietary restrictions, if you answer yes, it asks you to explain a little bit more in detail. page, medications and treatment. Again, if you say yes, it'll ask you for more information. Next page. These are the immunizations. So this page can look a little bit funky. If you're worried about manually putting in your immunizations, um, don't worry, we have a spot where you can also upload the immunization record. The system does require you to input something on this page, but if you're worried about giving us a complete immunization record, you can always upload it at a later date as well. So you see here on the right, it says how many doses may have been administered for each immunization. So for example, the COVID-19 vaccination, two doses may have been administered. So you can say they were immunized on 11-1-21. And then to show us the second date, just put a comma. And now we see here, they're immunized. These are both shots. And we see we have two doses. So DTAP has five doses. DT has one dose. MMR may have three doses, so on and so forth. So you can just fill this out as best as you can. For time's sake here, I'll just hit not, amused on all, not immunized on all of them. If the child's not been fully immunized, you have a spot to explain here, for example, if they're still on active treatment or if uh, their immunizations were pushed back because of treatment, that's a good place to put this here. Has your child had a TB test? If you say yes, it asks you for the details. If you say no, you can just move on. So these are the health history questions that we asked through Camp Doc. Any answer to yes will ask you to explain a little bit. These are the easier questions. Has your child does your child wear any glasses? Do they have any special needs? Any mobility issues? Traveled outside the country? So on and so forth. The only one that asks uh, a different question other than please explain is, does the child have asthma? Here we ask you to note the severity and if they have any physical exercise restrictions. So we'll say no here. We get down to this. Again, if you say yes, it'll ask you to explain. Has the child had any operations? Uh, please explain the operation, including date, any serious in injuries, been exposed to any communicable diseases, any restrictions on activities, and will they require any special assistance? So then down here is one of the really important buttons. Is there anything you would like to discuss with the camp medical staff? Um, this is a great place where if your camper has had some mental health challenges throughout the pandemic or something has changed with their health, uh, and you want to talk to somebody, you put that here. So anyone that says yes, uh, this is when Laura, our camp nurse, will reach out to you about four to six weeks before camp starting, and she'll discuss that further with you. So if there is anything you want to say, you type yes, and then let us know exactly what it is you want to discuss. And if not, then you hit no, and just go to the next page. This is your insurance information. 
So you'll type yes for we have medical insurance and then you can type out all of your information. We still need pictures of your insurance cards just like we did last year and I'll show you later on where you can upload those pictures. So for our sake, we'll just say no right now. And then this is the medical waiver that you've always had to sign. Just type your name, check the box confirming it, and hit complete form. So you see here now, this health history form is submitted for Sister Bear. It still needs to be completed for Brother Bear by June 1st. And then you'll see down here now, we have a download printable medical form where it'll download straight to your computer and you can click on that. And then this is the health form that you just gave us with all of your answers. So you see we're now registered, everything's been confirmed. It just takes a couple minutes after you hit submit. And then down here is the really important part that you'll keep revisiting throughout the year before camp starts. This is where you upload any documents. So remember, we do require the health history form to be submitted prior to June 1st. And then we also have the form that the doctor fills out. So we said that uh, Sister Bear is the sibling, so we can ignore this health form. We have the health form for the sibling. It's mandatory for everyone, except if the sibling is only coming for family camp. So you can click here to download the form. And then you can see now you can send this straight to your doctor by hitting download and then uh, uploading it as an attachment on an email and emailing it to the doctor's office. So you can see here, the doctor now has the ability to type straight onto the form and then they can download it with changes and send it back to you to upload. So this is our sibling health exam form, same as we've always had. It's important with the siblings that a school health form is also acceptable if they got a physical for school. But for the child with cancer, we do need our exact form to be returned to us. So then uh, once they've, that's been sent back to you from the doctor's office, you can just upload it here. You'll hit upload, hit submit document, and then it'll say submitted up here or completed. Again, this is the place where you can upload that copy of the immunization record. So if you have that on file or if your doctor's office sends that to you, same process, you just upload it here and hit submit, insurance card photo. So it says in the instructions right here, this is mandatory and we need the front and the back of the participant's insurance card. We'll do the same thing, take the pictures and upload them straight to here. So then we go down to documents for Mother Bear, same thing with the immunization record, same thing with the insurance card photo. And the only difference here is we said Brother Bear is the child with cancer, so we're going to download the, uh, the camper health exam form. So you can do it here. This one is fillable online, it says fillable. This one is just your classic. If you wanted to print it out and send it over to your doctor and they write on it, you can do that here. So this form must be completed by the primary oncology team or the primary care doctor. And it's the same form as the sibling form, except it asks more cancer-related questions. So please remember that these forms are due to us by uh, June 1st at the latest so that our medical team has time to fill those out. So that's it. That's our spiel. Everything is more front loaded with the information required to submit your application. And then you only have four steps after that. It's the health history form for each child, the health form for either the sibling or the child with cancer, depending on what they are the immunization record upload, and the insurance card photo upload. So nice and easy. If you have any questions, you can just email me at ryan at happinessiscamping.org. Registration is open now. And um, as of right now, we're planning on hosting a more traditional summer camp experience than we did in 2021. However, there is a caveat to that, and that is that our medical council is going to meet again in the spring around March. And fortunately for us, since we've already gone through it one summer, we know what works. We can always add more precautions as we get closer to the summer, whether that's masking or testing or cohorting, whatever it is. 
We'll wait until we get more information from the CDC, ACA, and our med medical council in the spring before we make those decisions. But again, uh, that's happinessiscamping.campbrainregistration.com. And can't wait to see everyone this summer.